hello guys the metasploit table scan is done so now let's move forward and we will start talking about reports all right so for that let's go to this tab here scan let's select reports here we will see the reports of all tasks as you can see here and here we have the status so now let's open the report let's go ahead and click here we have the date time of this report we have here the id the created and modified date and time and we have here the owner and here in this tab information we have general information regarding this report we have here the task name the scan time the scan status and the scanned hosts we have here the filter applied to this report and here we have the time zone so in the next tab we have here the results and here we will see the detected vulnerabilities as you can see here we have many vulnerabilities we can go ahead for example and open this one os end of life detection here we have the summary this is very important to understand the report the operating system on the remote host has reached the end of life and should not be used anymore this is a short summary and here we have the detection result as you can see here and it was detected the, the linux version release date here we have product detection result result we have here the product the method here in the method we see this specific vulnerability and here you see the id of this vt and here we have the log if you click here you will have much more information and here we have the detection method the detection method we see you see here details you will see here the vulnerability test used so this vulnerability test looks for operating systems in end of life Okay, as you can see the name here of this VT, OS end of life detection. And here we have the solution. Sometimes you will see the solution here, mitigation. Okay, what is the solution to fix this vulnerability on the target system? You need to upgrade the operating system on the remote host. Okay, you need to upgrade the operating system to a version which is still supported and receiving security updates by the vendors. So they explain you why you need to upgrade to mitigate this specific vulnerability okay another thing you can do here to have more information regarding this vulnerability you can come here to log and here you will have more information regarding to this vulnerability you have here the name of the vt the severity you have here the code quality of detention you have here the host the location the location location here is regarding to the port used to detect this vulnerability and detection result you have more information as you can see here and here you have references if you want to read this you can go to this site as you can see is greenborn community site you can go click here and then after that just click follow link and the link will open and here we, you can find more information so now let's go back results here this is how you read and you see more information regarding to the vulnerabilities you don't really need to know about all of this you don't need to know about database development uh, web development okay sometimes you will see things here that you don't work with and you will see the information here and you will find the solution okay and you can do this for all vulnerabilities and you have here for example some reference regarding to this vulnerability all right so in next lesson i want to explain you about solution types i want to explain you the difference of the icons and i want to show you how you can interpret these icons here all right see you in next lesson